Well, this is the back of it. This is where it raises up. So this would be the part that goes against the pickup truck or van, whatever. We're just going to call everything pickup truck. And so what I've got <clears throat> 57 inches long Twenty nine inches wide. Now, this is all overall. The uh, bottom, as you can see, I, I kind of cut it too short, so it should be two inch by two inch all the way out. I had to add that angle iron since I'm not going to pick up much more than a hundred pounds. Well, I'm going to say about three hundred pounds. If I was picking up a lot more than that, I'd scrap this and do everything in two inch. But anyway, all the angle iron stuff up here is all inch and a half. Angle iron, inch and a half by inch and a half. I'm using some half inch bolts, uh, lock nuts, so they won't loosen over time. This is the bottom of where the winch is gonna hook to the top where the other end is gonna hook since my gate thing didn't work which was a shame now it's just going to go back to sitting in the junk pile again till find some other kind of use for it and i do want to caution you this thing is a finger getter so be real careful how you how you uh, work with this thing And as you see, as it comes up, it stops at that two inch by two inch that goes across that ties these uh, front pieces. So that way it can't go any farther than that. I'm going to have to add a few inches back here so it doesn't topple over on me. I mean, it's just one of those safety things that you need to think of. But it's not going to go any farther the other way. And then, of course, the plywood's going to sit up here. That will just screw them right there. And that, I mean, it can be changed, you know, for bigger or smaller. Anyway, okay. Well, I think that's pretty much got it covered. This is from the front side of it. This is all I need, the biggest thing I have. I do have a pallet jack, that's the reason I built this thing. I do have a pallet jack that I have to haul to a charity function every once in a while, once a year. But uh, in most cases, the most thing I take is a sewer machine. And I just cannot pick that thing up by myself, I've gotta have help. So this thing is gonna take care of that. So this is gonna come in real handy. Well, Okay, we've had to go out Get us a Harbor Freight Less than a hundred dollars Cable pull And it hooks on to where this takes the place of the uh, Gate arm that we were trying to use it just didn't have enough Run with it. So now let's try this and see what we got. Not enough battery. Yeah, we don't have enough battery. All right, let's see what we got now. Yeah, it just, just doesn't have enough amps to pull it from down there. 
No. We'll just have to get a bigger battery. Boy, every time I turn around, it seems like I'm spending more money on this thing. One of those research and development projects. Golly, every time I, I have to make a change on this thing, it just keeps getting heavier and heavier. I finally ended up having to put that winch. The height of the, the winch will still go underneath my tailgate with a few inches to spare, so there's, there's no problem there. But now I've got to add this other piece this piece that goes across because what's happening is these two pieces are not coming up the same. They're coming up kind of cattywampus. So we're going to weld this in there and that should take care of that. And I think we're going to be at the point to where this thing's going to start working. But golly, I mean, I'm still be able to manage, manage it to get it in my truck and out of my truck as I want to load and unload my sewer machine or washing machine or whatever the case may be. All right, let's get this thing welded. Okay, the way I've got the cable run is not how I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a pulley there, but this is just in case <laughs> it don't work because I'm getting tired of adding more steel to this thing. go all the way which means of course it's it's way past center so hopefully I can just push it on the rest of the way oh yeah yeah it's it's simple enough so I think that's gonna work This is the last thing I'm doing to it before I scrap it out and get rid of it. I got it lifted me up, but it bent the heck out of that piece of metal I've got holding that uh, winch on, so I'm going to have to change that. But other than that, it seems to work. I think if I just add some gussets to it, that'll be fine. I'll show you what I did. See, I added a, well, I don't know if you want to call it a wheel. I'll think of, uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Uh, I'm going to call it a shiv there for the cable to go through so that at least it won't wear out on something. And then, of course, I will get something and uh, so that I can hook this cable to it. You can see how it meant that piece of metal that's holding that winch on there. So that winch is really pretty powerful. I mean, I weigh about 200 pounds, give or take. And uh, so the winch, you know, does a pretty good job. Don't know how many lifts it's going to make before it gives out, but that's okay. Even if I just use this thing once or twice a year, I'll be happy. Saving my back and trying to find somebody to help me load that thing and unload. 
with the amount of time I put in here. Well, this is what I'm going to load in my pickup. And uh, I'm telling you right now, this is the light one. And if anyone has ever tried to load one of these things in their pickup truck, you know what it's like. This thing is so top heavy and it definitely takes two people. And there you have it, by golly. Okie dokie, a few little modifications here and there, but that's just about as far as I'm going with it. Well, by golly, I finally finished this thing. But this cotton picking thing weighs twice as much as this uh, sewer machine, which... Uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to scrap it out because, I mean, I picked it up and carried it. Well, I didn't pick it up. I, I drug, drug it this far. And uh, I'll have to find some other kind of use for the, for the winch. But anyway, I've got to show you how this thing works. Well, guess what I forgot to do? I've got a strap on there to keep it together so I don't smash my fingers. Okay, by golly, I got it on there. I'm not even going to try to put that heavy thing in the truck with the amount of effort you have to go to get this monster thing out here. All right, let's load this thing back up on there. Well, Crosscut decided he didn't want to be part of the going up, but since We've got it up and we're coming down. He wants to be part of coming down. Step 43 has been completed. What do you think, Crosscut? I don't think he really cares. He just enjoys the ride. Now I get to show you all the unhooking and dragging this heavy thing back around. Okay. Surprised I haven't lost those nuts yet. And of course that's it. It's here to stay. But the nice thing about it, this is another failure. But my golly, I never have let failure stop me. A failure is good for the next project because I've learned so much putting this thing together. And uh, you can too. Don't let failure stop you. They just enhance the next project that's going to turn out even better. All right, well, y'all have a good evening, good afternoon, whatever you're having, and thanks for watching.